heavy protests in Enugu as monarch is shot dead. There is pandemonium in Enugu state on Sunday as the traditional ruler of Uruku community in Nkano East local government area Igwe Emmanuel Chijibere Mba was shot dead. On Sunday, youth in the community protested the monarch's death and set houses and vehicles ablaze. There are claims that policemen shot the traditional ruler, but the punch could not immediately ascertain that. The punch gathered that the traditional ruler was shot dead while he was addressing members of his community at Uruku Town Hall. Sources told our correspondents on Sunday morning that the policemen who were on Mufti wired AK-47 rifles had invaded the venue of the meeting in an SUV and in a Siena bus about 2 p.m. on Sunday, 26, 2020. The traditional ruler was presiding over the meeting and the three natives pointed at him immediately one of the policemen shot him on the thigh and he fell down bleeding. There was confusion after the royal father was shot. Everybody in the hall ran for safety, one of the sources said. It was meant that the royal father, who was elected by his community on December 26, 2019, reportedly bled to death before he could get medical attention. A world leader of the People Democratic Party, PDP, said he confirmed the incident, but then nobody was there to give a tangible report. Thank you for listening to this news. Strange, strange policeman acting like a criminal. You see? You see, it can be possible. It can be very much possible because our Nigerian police nowadays they now act like uh, they now act like uh, like criminals. Our Nigerian police nowadays now act like hoodlums. So it's very very possible. And many of our Nigerian police, if they want to act stupidly, they will go on mufti. So for those people to detect that they are policemen, definitely they, they know their faces. They know their faces. Is it not policemen operating in that in that in that community? So it is possible. It is very very possible. The only thing there is that um since the 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 the, 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 the Nigerian police in um, in Enugu are denying it. There should be an investigation. An investigation should be carried out on that. They should not allow them to go scot free because if they do, hmm, I'm afraid such a crime will be committed over and over and over and over again without anyone being able to do anything about it. I tell you, without anyone being able to do anything about it. So it's a crime. It's a very big crime. And besides, what the, the lady have just said can be possible. Very much possible. Because our Nigerian police now, they now behave like hoodlums. They now behave like hoodlums. And they are now exposed to atrocities of all kind. They are not exposed to atrocities of all kind, whereby they now take the place of criminals on the streets. 
for them not to be detected to be police officers, it is possible that they decided to go on mufti in order to eliminate the um, the traditional ruler. Only God knows what the traditional ruler has done to deserve their attack, or maybe someone has sent them, so they now decide to go to these guys. You understand? So it is very possible, but then only investigation, proper investigation, can can be able to uh, to detect that. But I, for one, am I am of the opinion that it is very very possible if a proper investigation can be carried out on that fact the nigerian police should not be given the opportunity to go scot-free because they have erred they have erred they have offended so they deserve to be punished for their sins it's an offense right to kill someone without any um, reason for for killing my dear viewers it is not a lie that our nigerian police has been has been the cause of the many many that has been occurring in our country nigerian of recent many atrocities many things that has been going on in this country our nigerian police has been the one behind them people that are supposed to be pro helping the citizens to protect their life and properties they end up this being the one destroying them is that right is that right you tell me if it is right i'll say okay no problem it's not right it's not at all one bit it's, an, it's, it's a crime. It's a big crime and a very big offense. You understand? It's a very big offense. So, I'm of the opinion that our Nigerian police force needs to be restructured. No wonder the people are crying and calling for restructuring. Our Nigerian police force should be number one to be restructured because of the too many atrocities that has been taking place in the force. And um in terms of recruitment the number of years spent in the police force need to be increased because this the 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 their scheme or their 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 timetable needs to be what need to be upgraded the timetable need to be upgraded do you understand so please and please my dear viewers i don't know what your comments concerning all that has just been said but please Deem it free to leave them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.